Shalom. I want to give all the praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Roughly paraphrasing a scripture that we all know, Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. The Most High gave the wicked the earth, which meaning the Most High gave the wicked the rulership upon the whole planet. And once again, who is the wicked? Starting with the top tier elites of the so-called modern day white man, that would be ID'd as the wicked that the Bible speaks of. The physical counterpart of the spiritual being Satan, all right, which is the wicked super rich families that run the world and the most high have given them the authority to run the world job 9 and 24 the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked all right now the most high is a balanced power due to us breaking the laws statutes and commandments of the most high the most high set up over us a base man the book of daniel chapter 4 and verse 17 It says, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. So the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. All right. So this is the works of the most high setting up the wicked on his left hand side. All right. It says, and giveth it to whom so he will. So he hath given the earth into the hands of the wicked and set up, up over it the bases of men. And that's right. So we have the bases of men, which is Esau, Edom. All right. The top tier elites of Esau, Edom, which is the so-called modern day white man. And they come in the form of the wicked elites, which is the wicked or the bases of men that the Most High have set up on the left hand side. Why? Because once again, we broke the law, statues. And commandments of the Most High. And the Most High have put the curse of slavery upon us. Alright. To be under this base man. Alright. This wicked, despicable, insane uh, scientist called Esau Edom. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And it says, And the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, this is the work of the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, all right? And we all know that we was in bondage in Egypt, all right, in the times of Moses, okay? But the Most High said that he was going to bring us into Egypt again with ships, all right? And we all know that you don't take a ship, all right, to go from Jerusalem, you know, to Egypt, okay? So we had to come to what? America in ships. And Egypt means what? Our bondage, that is symbolic for our bondage, okay? Because America is also called um, spiritually Sodom and spiritually Egypt, okay? And once again, Egypt represents our bondage. So the Most High have sent us, what, into bondage, into slavery again, this time by ships. And that's by slave ships. Why? Because we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, all right? When you read the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, it was given unto who? Israel. All right? And we what? Broke those laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? And it's a penalty for breaking those laws, statutes, and commandments. And there's also uh, a reward for keeping them. All right? But we broke them, so we, we, we are experiencing the penalty right now, which is our bondage here in Egypt, which is America. All right, whether you hear or forbear, this is your bondage to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Deuteronomy 28 and 68 again. And the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, shall, and there ye shall be sold into your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. All right? And that's right. So that happened in the transatlantic slave trade. And that was the penalty put upon us. All right? That curse put upon us for not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And we are living in the last leg of that curse right now. All right? Now, the scripture says, 
You're going to be sold into the hands of your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. That means what? No man is not going to save you. Because remember, we were sold uh, uh, on, on auction blocks, all right? But when the scripture says, and no man shall buy you, that represents what? No man shall save you from up under this bondage that you're living in. All right, now we're living in the times where that only Savior is going to save us, Lord willing, we be a part of those that are fit for salvation, those that are predestinated for salvation in that Savior that shall buy you back, that shall redeem you. And that Savior goes by the name of Yahweh Shai. So if we're living in the times where Yahweh Shai is about to come back and save us, that means we are living in the last leg of our bondage here in Egypt. Because remember, uh, Egypt represents our bondage, and this is spiritually Sodom and spiritually Egypt here in America. All right, now we're gonna get bought back by our Redeemer. That's why Job said in the last days he's gonna see his Redeemer, and a, and, rede and a Redeemer pays a ransom. All right, and Yahweh Shai have paid that ransom with his blood to buy back us, and that's starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, because Israel as a whole will not be bought back in these days. All right. But only the elect is going to be bought back. It's worth, it's worth being redeemed by uh, that man that shall buy us back, which is Yahweh Shai. Now, the book of Baruch chapter 4 speaks about our Redeemer buying us back. This is Baruch uh, chapter 4 and verse, verse 18. It says, for he that brought these plagues upon you, what plagues? This plague of slavery. Here in America, having a base man ruling over us, for he that brought these plagues upon you, who is that? Uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, through the, the, the will of his, of his father, the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, have brought these plagues upon us. All right, it says, for he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. And who is our enemy? The wicked that the Bible speaks of, the basis of man. Uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. All right, so the wicked that the Most High have allowed to rule this planet, they are our enemies. All right, and we shall be bought back or delivered by Yahweh Shai, all right, whom put these plagues upon us. All right, it says, For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. So Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver us from the hands of our enemies. So we're living in the last leg of our bondage, our en enslavement, and we're living. Uh, on the last leg of Esau Edom's rulership, which the Most High set Esau Edom up. All right. Um, the book of, what is that? The book of Daniels. The book of Daniels, chapter 2 and 21. God, Daniels 2 and 21. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings. All right. Who is the king that is in rulership now? The wicked elites, all right? And the Most High set them up, and the Most High is going to remove them. It says, and set up up kings. And who is the next kings to rule? Um, the book of Ezra said Esau is the end of the world, all right? And Esau is ruling right now, so this is the end of the world. End of the world doesn't mean the earth is going to end. It means the end of an age, the end of a rulership. And whose age is this? Whose rulership is this? Esau, Edom, the wicked that the Bible speaks of because the Most High has put him in that position. Why? Because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments, and this was a form of punishment for us, all right? But we are at the end of that punishment. It says, he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know of understanding. So the Most High uh, uh, has a time and a season for everything, meaning a time and a season for a race of people to rule. And the, and the, the race of people that are ruling right now is the race of the most wickedest people ever erected, all right, which came from Cain, all right, and Cain came back in the reincarnation as Esau, all right, and Esau had siblings or had a bloodline, which are the Edomites, okay, which are the children of Esau, and you so-called modern-day white people are the Edomites, the children of Esau, now starting with your elites, all right, your, 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 your top leaders, which are the wicked elites, the secret societies of the world, they are the kings that the Most High is about to remove, all right, and the scripture says what? Uh, um, uh, Jacob is the uh, beginning of it, their follower, all right, which is the end of Esau's age, the end of Esau's rulership, and we are in next in line, not um, China, okay, China is not going to be the next superpower upon the planet, okay, Russia, uh, the continent of Africa, all right, or any other uh, um, uh, kingdom, 
the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up, all right? Which which is ran by who? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, that Redeemer, okay? Now, let's jump back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 one more time. And the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, all right? And there... Ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And that's right. We're not going to see our, this captivity again. This is the last time that we're going to be in captivity. All right, once Esau, Edom springs into action, the Most High is going to spring into action. He's going to allow things to happen upon the soils of America that's going to lead up to the elect of the nation of Israel's salvation by the way of our Redeemer, that man, Yahweh Shai, that shall buy us back. All right, and we're living in these times. All right now, Esau Edom got to pay for all the things he have done. Um, one of my favorite scriptures, Galatians six and seven, says, "Be not deceived; the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap." So we know the track record of the wicked elites. They have sown nothing but bloodshed, rape, robbery, and murder. All right, and now it's it's their time to receive all of those things, and they also have received what rulership. Now it's time for them to be taken out of rulership. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, it says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right, so Esau, Edom, your purpose is for being wicked, ruling the earth in wickedness, is about to be up. All right, it says, Verse 2, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant in this wicked kingdom, this wicked rulership by Esau, Edom has been planted by the Most High. The scripture says, and a time to pluck up what that, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. So Esau, Edom, this is the time for you to be plucked up, to be uprooted out of your rulership. All right. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. These are the words of the Most High. All right, coming through the uh, uh, the preacher, all right, which was is King Solomon, and we all know King Solomon, all right, is an incarnation of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Now, by saying that, let's jump to the book of the book of Revelation, because I spoke of Esau Edom. You're going to get your payback. I read Galatians six and seven, all right. A man is going to reap what he sow. Um, Revelation 13, 13, 9, and 10. Uh, Revelation 13, 9, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. If you have understanding, understand this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So who have led into captivity? All right, Esau, Edom, starting with the wicked elites. All right, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So they're going to reap what they've sown, all right? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And who, what is the sword, all right, of, of Esau, Edom? His weapon, his 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 his, his uh, defense, the way that the Most High, uh, through Yahweh Shai, set him up when Yahweh Shai was in an incarnation as Isaac, gave the blessing to Esau, which was the sword, all right? And that's how they lead it, led us into captivity uh, and uh, uh, took control over the planet Earth through their blessing, which is the sword. And that's how they're going to go down. All right, now that ultimate sword is the way of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Esau, Edom, all right, starting with their top tier elites, have governed the planet, all right? That's how they have bullied the planet, by them having the sword. Now the most have blessed other nations with the sword, which is the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now it's time for them to be taken down by that same sword. See how marvelous and balanced and terrible the most high is? All right, it says, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's right. We're suffering and, have, and having faith upon this prophecy to be, to, to, to be taken uh, uh, into action, man, to, to come to pass. And we are living in the times where this prophecy is about to come to pass. All right, due to Esau, Edom, number one, being exposed as being the wicked that the Bible uh, is speaking of. All right, Esau, Edom has been, has been exposed. Now his rulership. Let's get a quick precept. His rulership is coming down. Uh, Isaiah 47 and 1, come down and sit in the dust, 
O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And that, that's right. Verse 2 it says, and that's America. All right? You're, not, you're no more going to be called tender and delicate, man. Uh, the, uh, evil and, and war is coming here. All right? You're going to sit in confusion. That's the most high dethroning you. Number one, by him setting up his men to reveal the wicked. All right? Verse 2 it says, take the millstone and grind mill. That's the house of David. All right, here at Great Millstone, all right, and, 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 and these are the, the vessels that the Most High selected to, to expose this devil to begin his downfall. Uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the river. And we all know America is considered as a whore, all right, or considered as a woman that sit upon many waters, all right. And her locks, that woman's locks, has been uncovered. That skirt that this woman once wore to... Uh, cover up the wickedness and, and the perverseness of her, all right, is being made bare, okay? Her thighs is being shown. All that represents America's nakedness, all right? That's, that all represents America being exposed, all right? And the, the wicked that the Bible speaks of being exposed as being the wicked. That's the beginning of their downfall. Now their system is crumbling before their eyes, man. We see they, they can't keep control of their economy, all right, such as the stock market. Up and down, sea salt, being that fish gate that the scripture speaks of, all right? The, the, the infrastructure is crumbling within. The worm is laid up under the, see? This place is falling. This place is going down, man, all right? These these pronosticators, these uh, 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 wise men of Esau are being confounded. All of these prophecies are taking place and letting us know that Esau, Edom is the end of the world and Jacob is, 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 is the beginning of it that follows, all right? Let's read it again, because this is what's going to happen to Esau, Edom. You're going to reap what you sown. Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. And that's right. You're going to get your payback, Esau, Edom. All right. And these, also these, 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 these curses are going to come upon your own head, man. Uh, because remember, we're in the last leg of our captivity, which means... Uh, we are in the last leg of all of these curses being upon us, all right? These curses day by day are lifting off of us, all right? But they are lifting off of us, but they got to go somewhere, all right? Deuteronomy um, 30 and 7, and it reads, And the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies. See, all of these curses, and that main curse is Coming upon Esau, Edom is slavery, all right? You're, you, because you're worthy of slavery, all right? You you are the real slaves, and we are the kings, all right? The, the most, matter of fact, um, one quick precept comes to mind, Ecclesi, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7, and it reads, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And who is the princess that's walking as servants upon the earth? That's us. Because we are the, uh, are, are the base things of the world right now, all right? Even though a base man is ruling over us, he's exalted over us right now. But, so that makes us the base things because we was once exalted over him, all right? But due to us, once again, breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, we are put under this base man as being the base people, see? And the base man has been raised up, all right? And that's what Ecclesiastes all right, it's explaining here, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. I have seen servants upon horses. And who are those servants that, that that's upon horses? And the horses represents what? Power. Just like you have horsepower in your car. All right, horses represents power. So who who is in the power seat right now? Who Who is the rulers of the world right now? Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked is in rulership. And that's why the earth is mourning. Because we are not in rulership. It says, I have seen servants upon horses. So that's... The wicked elites, the secret society, all right, of this world, the, the, the wicked, super rich world bankers, they have the power. So, all right, so they are upon the horses right now. And princes walking. And we are the princes that, that are walking, man. See? We are the kings and the princes. We are that, that procure you people, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as servants upon the earth. All right, meaning we are in a low condition. We are not in rulership. We don't have the power. All right, and that is about to change. See, 
we are living in the times where that is about to change. Because if the Most High don't change it, okay, every everybody upon the earth, even the wicked elites themselves, will perish. That's how wicked they are. All right. That's why the earth is in the condition that is, that is in right now. All right. Because we're not in rulership. Um, the book of Proverbs. Um, 29. Verse two, it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice and we are the righteous and we are not in, 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 in authority. And that's why the, the people are not rejoicing. All right. Number one, two thirds are going off. Okay. The rest of the heathen nations are not rejoicing. See, the only one that's, that's, that's somewhat is rejoicing is the wicked. It says, when the righteous are in, in authority, when the righteous have rulership, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, and we're in the last leg of the wicked bearing rule, it says, the people mourn. So, when we get into rulership, everything is going to be set back in place. All right, everything is going to be set back in righteousness. The, the earth also shall be uh, uh, back in its place. It shall be uh, um, uh, a plus unto us. That's why the, the earth is not a plus unto us right now. Because remember the scripture says the earth was made for our sake. All right, Once the, the, the wicked came into to rulership, they misused the earth. They have defiled the air, the water, all right, the ground water, the ground itself, okay, the plants, the animals, and the people, man. That's why this devil must be taken out of rulership, man. And we are living in that time where the righteous is about to be set up. Uh, the book of the book of let's get uh, Lamentations, since I I keep saying the righteous is, is going to be set up, and this is the end of Esau Edom's rulership. Matter of fact, before we, before I get that, let's get um let's get the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 30, and I'm going to start at 8. It says, For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shab, host, the Lord of armies, that I will break his yoke from off his neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Verse 9, it says, But they shall serve the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shab, their power, their power, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. And these are the times of, of where our, our uh, slavery, all right, our bondage is being lifted up, all right? And the Most High is, is doing that now, all right? And, and he, he is about to set up our righteous King David. Verse 30 says, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who is Jacob, you Israelites, all right? Because our forefather, uh, Jacob's name was changed unto Israel, and he had, what, 12 sons, all right, which consist of all of the 12 tribes, from, from the, the son of Judah all the way down to the son of Ishakar, okay, which brought about the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, all right, so it says, O my servant Jacob, which is Israel, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of thy of their captivity. And where is that? America. Okay? So the Most High is about to save us from America. All right? It says, And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest. And that's in the kingdom. And be quiet. And none shall make him afraid. And that's right. That's in the kingdom. Okay? And, 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 and that represents what? Us being at peace. All right? Having the law, statutes, and commandments written on our inward part. You know? And we won't be living in terror no more okay you could be 10 11 in your city and a city official get behind you and you're nervous as hell you, you know you, you sweating bullets so to speak but that time is coming that we're going to be in rulership and we're and there's, there's no more going to be need for us to be in fear here under the, the rulership of the wicked verse 11 for i am with thee saith the lord yahweh yahweh to save thee though i will make though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. And that's why we have been cor uh, corrected in measure over the course of time. But he has, he has not have, have, have sent us off to destroy us, man. All right? Only to correct us. 
and to allow us to go through the wickedness, now we're going to know righteousness, man. Verse 12, it says, For thus saith the Lord, Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy case, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. Verse 14, All thy lovers have forgotten thee, they, they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of my enemy, of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one. And who is that? Esau Edom. So the most I have set Esau Edom up to punish us. It says, for the multitude of thine iniquities, because we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? Because thy sins were increased. Verse 15, why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. Yeah, because you have disobeyed me. That's why we are in our bondage right now. If anyone wants to know, because the Most High was angry at us. All right? Verse 16, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. So, we are living in the times where our captivity, after we have been punished a while, all right, our captivity is going to be over, thus saith the Lord, all right, and he's going to put our adversaries, our number one adversary, the so-called modern-day white man, into captivity, and the rest of the heathen nations, and he's going to put two-thirds of our people, which are also our adversaries and our enemies right now, in subjection. They're going to have the laws, statutes, and commandments in their inward parts. Therefore, they're going to be up under righteous authority. Let's read it again, Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Yeah, you're going to reap what you sow, Esau, Edom. You kill it with the sword, you're going to be killed with the sword. It says, and all thine adversaries and all the rest of you nations, even two-thirds of our people, every one of them shall go into captivity. All right, now two-thirds of our people, they're going to be corrected. All right, therefore, they're going to be ruling in righteousness. They're going to have righteousness upon uh, uh, their spirit because it's going to be embedded within them. So they're going to be ruling in righteousness, all right? It says, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled, and, and all they pray upon thee will I give for a prey. So Esau, Edom, you're going to be in our hand because you are, you are the main one have, have, have set a prey out for us, see? So you're going to be in our hands. You're going to reap what you sow, all right? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Um, Isaiah 14 and verse 1, it says, For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, will have mercy on Jacob, and we are living in the times. The Most High is going to have mercy upon us. He, he didn't send us into captivity to destroy us, just to correct us, to punish us. It says, And we'll yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. See? That's when we're in rulership. Verse 2, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah for servants and handmaids so all the things that have been done unto us we're going to do to the rest of the nations number one Esau Edom all right the difference between Esau Edom and the rest of the nations Esau you're going to be done away with completely because you are the wicked all right you can't leave a Edomite around all right because that means all of the wicked has not been done, done away with. You still got a speck of wicked, all right? Or you got a, a speck of dirt upon a whole white clean shirt and there's a speck of dirt on it. That's, that defiles the whole shirt. So Esau, you got to be done away with being that speck of dirt on that white shirt. You got to be done away with completely for that shirt to be completely white because you is that speck of dirt, all right? It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall pos possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And who is that speaking of? Esau, Edom. We are still in uh, 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 the captivity of Esau, Edom. All right, we, We're going to be found in this man's hands when Yahweh Shah come back, as the scripture says. And that's, that's a penalty unto death. And you're still a man. He's still, you know, it says... And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And whether you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to you so-called Mexicans, understand or not, whether you hear or forbear, America is your captivity. The so-called modern-day white man, 
starting with the top tier elites, is your oppressor. All right? So this is talking about Esau Edom reaping what they sow, man. This is talking about the most high setting us up in rulership and taking down the bases of men. All right? And we are living in those times right now. Verse 3, it says, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear. See? Give us rest from our sorrow. All right? Because we are a sorrowful spirit right now. All right? We're in, we're in captivity. Captivity was never meant to be pleasant. See? When you get locked up in jail, it's not a pleasant experience. It's a, a, a terrible, horrible, fearful experience. And we're about to be delivered out of that. It says, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. All right? And that's here in America. All right? We're, we, we might not be in hardcore bondage anymore, but we once was. All right? And, and we are still spiritually in hardcore bondage. We might not be in hardcore bondage physically anymore, but we are still spiritually, mentally in hardcore bondage. See? And we're going to be delivered from that. So this is the time for us to be rejoicing, man, for Esau, Edom to do what they need to do. All right? Because they have but a short time to reign. See? Let's jump from there. Let's get the last scripture. The book of Lamentation. And I'm going to start at 21. Lamentation 4 and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. All right? So America need to be, be rejoicing and being glad. All right? These, the, the super rich need to be rejoicing and being glad. All right? You low-level Edomites need to be rejoicing and, and need to be glad. You need to max out your credit cards. You need to, when, when you get a chance, go on every cruise you can go on. All right? Eat the best of, of, of uh, perverse foods that you eat. You know, like lobster and crab and all that perverse, all that despicable, wicked shit that you eat. You need to do all of that right now. All right? But why? Because you are in the last leg of your captivity, man. Shit is about to get horrible upon you, Edomites. All right? It says rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. So you need to be rejoicing and being glad right now, being merry. You need to party, have all type of fiestas. All right? It says that dwelleth in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. So it's your time for you to be put into slavery. All right? Because we have drunken of that cup. We are, we are drinking of the last sips of that cup right now. All right? So now it's time for you to drink upon that cup. The cup is going to be passed unto you. It's time for you to sip the, the cup. It says the cup also shall pass through unto thee. All right? Just like we read Deuteronomy 30 and 7. All right? The curses must go somewhere. They're being lifted off of us. And they're going to be placed upon our enemies. It says, Thou shalt be drunken, just like we were, and shalt make thyself naked. Verse 22, it says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So we're in the last leg of our iniquities being accomplished, man. Our, our sin and what it sins. All right? Uh, uh, going against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's the main reason that we're in this captivity. And we're at the last leg of that captivity. See, we are at the last leg of that punishment. It says the punishment of thine iniquity. What's that punishment? Esau, Edom being, being placed up over us in rulership. All right. We being thrown here in America, being stripped of our, the names of our powers, being stripped of our identity. See, being stripped of our heritage as being Hebrew Israelites. That's, that's the punishment. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. And, and, and now it's, it's being accomplished. It's being finished. Okay? It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was sent out and it have done what it, what it should, should, should do. Or, or, what it, what, or what it was supposed to do. All right? Which was what? To punish us, man. It says, O daughter of Zion. And Zion represents Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says... He will no more carry thee away into captivity. That's right. So, like we read in Deuteronomy, it's not going to happen until you again. After this, after this punishment that we're serving, after this slavery that we're serving here in America, this is the last slavery for us. This is the last stop of slavery for the nation of Israel. Okay? Now, from here forth, we're looking forward to the kingdom, man. 
which we shall rule. Lord willing, we be a part of the governed body, the elect of the nation of Israel. We shall rule the galaxies forever and ever. All right? It's not going to be, uh, 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 it's time for to take the Israelites down. No, it's not going to be that. This is an everlasting kingdom that we're working for. This is an everlasting kingdom that we're headed for. That shall be placed upon earth. It says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. All right, and that's right. So it's time for the Most High to visit their iniquity. Just like the Most High visited our iniquity and put us, all right, up under this, this, this base man. All right, he's also finna take another base man, which are us right now, the Israelites, and raise us up. Over Esau Edom, which puts us back in our rightful place and put Esau Edom in his rightful place, which later on is to be done away with. O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins, all right? And they sins have been discovered through him putting his spirits, all right, upon the prophets, man. Uh, uh, and that man of sin has been revealed as Esau Edom starting with the top tier elites of the so-called modern day white man, all right? And now we're there on the decline. Since they have been exposed, everything is going haywire. Now they're trying to hurry up and run and come with their agenda because they know, they know the scriptures. They know that they have but what? A short time. Why? Because their sins have been discovered. Now they have been put upon a uh, 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 trial, all right, and being judged due to them being ID'd first, all right? Their sins have been discovered, man. And this, this is what? The end of their rulership in the beginning of ours, you know? So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this, you know, was edifying. All right. We have served our captivity. We are at the end of our captivity. And now it's time for our our oppressor's captivity and for a righteous rulership to be set upon the, the planet Earth. So the Earth can, could be, you know, put back into normal. All right. So, Lord willing, I pray that this was edifying and that this made sense. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom, DTA, Wa Ababa Babal.